The United Nations is calling for a new round of international funding for Afghanistan. Uncertainty over how the Taliban will govern has contributed to a run on the banks. There's now a cash shortage in addition to rising inflation. In cities, many shops remain closed. The ones that are open are raising their prices. And in the countryside, a severe drought has left farmers in urgent need of help. Of course, we haven't even got to winter. That's going to be exceptionally cold. That's another problem and a concern, as well as COVID. Anwar Ahadi is Afghanistan's former finance minister. Before that, he was a governor of its central bank. So thank you very much for joining us here on Quest Means Business. Uh, I'm not sure if you heard our correspondent, but the picture that we are getting from the ground in Afghanistan is that the country desperately needs funds. We've heard the IMF halting payment. How soon, how close is Afghanistan, in your opinion, uh, to, you know, collapsing economically? Um, well, uh, I think uh, probably in terms of supplies, um, there should be enough for another two or three weeks. Uh, normally, traders uh, um, have enough supplies for a month or a month and a half. Uh, uh, but I think um, if additional uh, supplies were not to come, uh, then we will have problem. Uh, and that really depends on payment. Uh, the system of payment has been uh, disrupted. Uh, uh, the, the central bank is involved in payment of in international trade. Uh, some of that payment is done directly through correspondent banking. A lot of it is done through the central bank. And the central bank assets uh, uh, have been uh, uh, frozen. Uh, so unless that problem is uh, resolved, uh, then I think we will have a very serious problem very soon. And obviously, Anwar, you know, a month and a month and a half is not that much. And our viewers might know this, that Afghanistan depends on imports. And if you having less imports and you have an inflationary environment, already we've seen people queuing to get money out. So then you worry about an overrun on the banks. If the IMF does release these funds, uh, you know, how restrictive do you think they will be? Can they be trusted? Can the Taliban be trusted? with these funds? Well, well, the IMF and the international institutions, usually they have a monitoring system. And uh, I think that uh, they can establish uh, uh, a procedure uh, which will require additional uh, checking uh, as to whether these payments are uh, 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 proper. Uh, and I think they can do that. Uh, um, uh, you know, the IMF, there are two reasons so why they have uh, frozen assets or have uh, made it difficult to make these payments. Uh, one, uh, we did not have a central bank governor. Uh, now we do have a central bank governor, but uh, um, does he really know the process? Uh, and uh, second, we also didn't have a finance minister. Now uh, we do have a caretaker. And the president is not known. So, you know, probably from a technical point of view, uh, you know, they had a point to uh, um, to, to to stop some uh, payments. But that cannot go for long. And I hope it does not, uh, um, that decision is not based on political considerations. Yeah. Because if it were based on political considerations, then uh, those will not be resolved quickly. And so given what you just said, Anwar, you know, you've heard our correspondent there uh, Sam Kiling saying we're expecting the Taliban to announce the formation of a government. Uh, the world is waiting to see how inclusive an Afghan, uh, Afghanis are also waiting, Afghans are also waiting to see how inclusive it will be. Uh, once they take control and take power, what should that be their priority from an economic perspective here? Uh, I think from an economic as well as from a political perspective, uh, we should reach an, an understanding and an agreement with the international uh, community. Uh, I think the international community should not be asking uh, for very uh, tough uh, criteria, but at the same time, the minimum that's required so that uh, funds are not misallocated, uh, they are not wasted, uh, I think that's uh, um, what the international community should ask for, and uh, I think that the uh, government, uh, the new government, uh, uh, should satisfy those. And uh, uh, I see the inclination on the part of the government to satisfy those requirements. Uh, uh, but uh, sometimes it's just they are too new to the job. And uh, hopefully that they'll learn quickly uh, uh, the job. And uh, uh, I hope that there will be an understanding between the international community and the Afghan government. Otherwise, we will have uh, a real serious crisis. Yeah, I mean, they are new to the job, but if and, and, and that is a huge concern, uh, hence why the international community are asking really for more an inclusive government uh, from those who, who, who have ruled before uh, and who have the know-how and, and the expertise. If, however, Anwar, they, they can't govern, 
uh, you know, what, what does it mean for the country? Uh, well, uh, very unfortunate uh, situation. Uh, I've, uh, um, they cannot run the government. Uh, and you see, the, the world has become a lot more complicated and uh, uh, international transactions have become much more sophisticated than they were some 20 years ago. Um, so I, I think it's, it's a, an absolute requirement that they do have professionals uh, uh, to run these institutions. Otherwise, uh, uh, they'll not have those international transactions. And if they cannot have international transactions, uh, you know, we will have a very bad situation. I mean, a few years ago, uh, even international trade did not require uh, such sophistication. For instance, uh, most of the places where we sent our exports now, they require SPS. Uh, um, well, a few years back, uh, we didn't have that. Uh, so even our uh, traditional and less, less sophisticated uh, uh, customers, such as India and Pakistan, they require those requirements. Uh, so it's a very uh, complicated environment now, and we do need professionals. And uh, um, I hope the Taliban realize that. And they, and they are willing, uh, I mean, they say that they are willing uh, uh, to incorporate, uh, to, in, to involve or to include uh, people's uh, non-Taliban uh, professionals. But we will have to see if that will happen. That's right. The proof will be in the pudding. Anwar Alhwani, thank you very much for joining us there, Anwar Nahadi, uh, with the very latest. Thank you, sir.